In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a FreeSky RXSR receiver in the Vortex 180. So when you first get this, this is the almost ready to fly model. It comes with this little cable here, which is plugged into the SBUS port. And it's got a three pin and and this is not for any FreeSky product. This is actually for a Spectrum receiver. This just has to come out entirely and you do not chop this connector end off and splice any wires. In fact, we're not gonna splice anything at all today. Immersion has kindly included a nice little set of wires here. So this is the one that you want. You want this five pin connector here that they have supplied that we can use with our RXSR, but we've got to make only one little small change to it. And that is because on the RXSR, the SBUS cable is, or the SBUS connection is the very next pin to the last, that pin right there, we have to move this white wire over one. And that's really, really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now with a hobby knife. We're just gonna gently, but ever so carefully. Well, mine's already kind of came out because I put it back in just for demonstration purposes. But you can use your hobby knife to kind of just gently pull the wire out. And really, this is a great method that you can use to easily switch the pin out for any kind of connector that you want. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this pin into here. And you're probably gonna have to loosen this just a tad. And then you should just be able to kind of like press it in. There you go. And then what I like to do after that is I like to just take the knife and sort of press down hard on the pins. And now you're good. You're good to go. Your pinout is correct for the FreeSky RXSR. And you don't have to worry because the connector is right too to get the 5 volt. So we can go ahead and plug it in. Plug it into the vortex. That's it. You're all good. You're all ready to go with your FreeSky RXSR on your Vortex Mini 1E. Now, what I recommend doing, honestly, is I would... Wrap this in some heat shrink. I would put it right in here. You could probably could put it right there. And the Vortex 180 conveniently provides these little holes on the side here. You see that, little, little holes? You can snake a receiver wire right through one of those holes. You can run it out just like that. Because it really doesn't have a much better place to put them. And I thought that that's a wonderful little spot for your FreeSky RXSR receiver wires, or really any receiver wire. Yeah, just a little, just a little tip, because I like to run the wires for the receiver out the back, just like this on my Vortex uh, 250 Pro, and that's done really well for me for a long time. I've never really had any issues with that. So yeah, just a little antenna tip or recommendation based on how they have this thing set up. I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial on how to do this. Again, I thought this was really neat that I could do it without any soldering or splicing. I had my iron ready and I figured out I wasn't going to need it for anything. It was just really a quick, simple pinout change to one of the included connectors. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. I got a really awesome deal on this Vortex 180. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing a review of that really soon. Link to that will be in the description below if you're interested in seeing that. Uh, as always, have a great day, guys, and uh, I'm going to go do some flying.